What's up, YouTube family? This is Jeff with a little bit of Everything Home Services coming to you with yet another video. Uh, I just figured I would take a moment. I'm on my way to a lawn appointment. It's hot outside, but it has to get done. And uh, then I still have more stuff after that. I have some plumbing stuff to do. So it's been a long day in this short day so far. Even though I got started later, I feel like it's been a long day. But nonetheless, uh, the reason that I uh, decided to shoot this video is it just kind of, you. for those of you who have been watching and has kind of been following, just to tell you a little bit about me, a little bit about the person that you've been watching the video. So, uh, of course, my name is Jeff. My, my company is uh, called A Little Bit of Everything Home Services. Uh, as you've probably seen on um, the videos, the intros and the outros and all that good stuff. Um, I work for myself. And I also work for a commercial heat and air company. So, that's how I got to where I am today. Uh, I started as far as my work ethic, you know, I kind of got started young trying to make money. Uh, and uh, of course, like I've said in other videos, the very first thing I did when I was 12 years old was uh, I was out there with a long more pushing it cutting neighbor's grass, cutting people in the neighborhood grass, going around door to door, you know, type of doing that. So who would have, who would have thought, even back then, I had an entrepreneurship type of heart, I guess you could say. Um, but yet and still, I still, that, that desire to work is still there, you know. So um, I, I did that, and then uh, once I got a little older, you know, I, I picked up a paper route, and I started doing a paper route. I did that for about a year. Um, I still continue to do lawns while I was doing paper routes. But what I found with the paper routes were, I mean, people people didn't want to pay. You know, back then, you had a paper route, you had to go collect the money. So, you know, people would avoid you. People would, you know, it would go, that bill would go on for a month, two months, three months, you know, before you cut them off. And, and the way it worked back then, I mean, you got, the only way you got paid was when you collected the money from the people, you know, who uh, had, a, who had, who was getting a subscription for the paper. So, you know, uh, that's how you got paid. And you still had to pay for those papers. So, anyway, I did that for a little while, for like I said, about a year. And I was just like, you know, no, this is, this is not working out. You know, I didn't really like it that well. Then I, I was old enough to finally get with this program called TAP. Total action against poverty or something like that in Virginia, and I um, I went and I would help schools. I got a job with with that program, which would you know kind of put you at a school and you would work for the school for the summer, you know, cleaning chairs. Well, you know, I, I worked real hard. Nobody wanted to do that job, you know, but you know I did it. I did it, you know, the best of my ability, and because that's how I was raised. And at the end, when they let everybody else, it was time the program was ending. I uh, I got extended onto the program by the manager at the school, um, the over the janitorial service, because he saw how hard I work, and they taught me how to do floors, they taught me how to you know wax and buff and strip and do all that. And I was doing with him doing the whole you know the whole building again, and so it, it, it allowed me to work a little longer during the summer. So then fast forward, I worked for that for did that for two years during the summer. And then I finally hit that age of 16 and was able to uh, was able to get a job with uh, a regular job because I was old enough to work uh, without a worker's permit. And this was in Virginia. So uh, then I got on with a company that you all probably have heard of, I'm sure, called Western Sizzling. A buddy of mine was working there and he helped me to get on. And I worked there until I graduated from high school. You know, and I started off there washing dishes. Then I moved up to to cook, to cooking, and and putting, out, getting hot food out in the bar, and you know, and I had friends that worked there, so it was fun. And I was making money, so you know, I was still in high school. Then I moved on, and I went after I graduated. I went to college. I went to a, I didn't go to a traditional college at first. I went to an apprenticeship program. I didn't know anything about that. I I just wanted to play football, so. This football coach from the school approached me, you know, and uh, afforded me the opportunity to go to the school. I could play football. He pitched it. I could play football and make money at the same time. 
you know, so I was like, oh, okay, well, that's that's not bad, you know. So I went to a Newport New Shipbuilding Apprenticeship School, and, uh, and where I my trade was pipe fitting at the time, and I learned how to be a pipe fitter, and I learned how to, you know, at that time to, to braze and welding and you know TIG, with all these different types of welding that I don't really use today because it's been so long ago. But I, you know, I stayed with the program for a couple years and then I, I decided that, you know, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be a pipe fitter. You know, here it is, I'm saying, okay, it's a four year program and I would come out with my master like master's pipe field pipe fitter degree and I would become a foreman instantly up in the shipyard and you know and money was good and oh no nah, but I wasn't happy. So I was like why would I keep doing this and I know it's something that I don't want to do. So I left. I left and uh, and I went and I just got I got back into the work field and started doing odds and ends. And then I, uh, but it taught me plumbing. It taught me plumbing because for the years that I was there, I learned how, I mean, you were, we were building ships and we was building the, doing the plumbing for the ships. So I learned, I learned all about pipe fitting and plumbing and all that. So, so it really, it, I, I would have never known how much it was going to help me later on in life. You know, so in each each stage of my life that I've done has helped me later on in life and that's kind of funny it's, it's that's the way God works it's amazing fast forward and then I learned I I, I was working for Firestone and I uh, I it was fun I enjoyed it. I was working for Firestone and I was just a delivery guy you know but I was in tr- I wasn't just a delivery guy I was delivering tires to different places when they needed it but I also was over the stock room and merchandise and all that so uh, I did that for a little while, and then a guy came in, and and he um, he drove eighteen wheelers, and he told you know I, I was like man this seemed like interesting, so he was like man yeah it is you know he said so I talked to him and and then I was like you know this seemed like something I can do I, I want to do it and and I didn't know anything about it it just seemed interesting you know driving trucks and out there on the road and nobody standing over your shoulder standing over your shoulder so i was like hmm so i went to school I, I went on and i looked up a program schneider had a program where you could go in and learn how to drive and you would work for them and i joined the program and i worked for them for a couple years you know and learned got my cdl and worked for them and drove cross country and that was fun i drove cross country and um i, I didn't have anybody standing over my shoulder but the life balance wasn't present good. I mean, not that I have a great life work balance now, but overall, what I mean by that is I was on the road. I was gone for two, three weeks at a time, home for two days, you know, and that, that was the constant cycle. And I just, you know, that, there was no life. I, you know, I, I, I probably wouldn't, I, I just couldn't see having a relationship or anything like that. Came back home and to my hometown and I worked at a factory for a couple of years that my dad, he was alive, worked at, and until uh, they was put out of business. But I met a guy there who um, who used to be in the army. I just I was talking to him, and I don't know how we got on the conversation of the army. I, I have no idea. I, I can't remember. Can't recall. But um, I, I talked to him, and and he said, "Man, I wish I would have stayed in." And I was like, "Really?" He was like, "Yeah." It was like I had a ball when I was. In. I was like, really? And he just got to talking to me about it. He was like, not everything's peaches and cream. Because, I mean, it's not like it is today anyway. Um, but I was like, I was the type I had the mindset that it, I wanted to try. If there was something that grabbed my interest, I'd rather try it and not like it. Then I wonder what if I would have tried that and that would have made a difference type deal. So not that I was a job hopper because I'm not a job hopper. But uh, so fast forward, I joined the Army and I, uh, I was a mental health counselor I, I did mental health and uh, and a medic you know and I did that for almost 10 years before I got out you know so and I was honorably discharged from the military I served my time I did a re-enlistment I did my first six years then I re-enlisted and uh, my next re-enlistment would have been you know was trying to get me to go indefinite and I didn't I didn't want to do that not only that you know I you know I, I had been everywhere overseas all stateside you know, and I was looking for, you know, time to kind of settle down for some stability. So, you know, I, I went to a a, uh, a company after I got out. I was a manager of a 
plasma blood center blood bank plasma center whatever you call it and um, i did that for almost for eight years you know and, and while i was doing that though i was still i was still always doing other little stuff you know uh handy stuff around the house and doing work for other people you know here and there so I, after being there eight years I, I lost my job and i then i had to reevaluate things and i'm like oh, what am i gonna do and i had a I, you know i had i just took time not doing anything for about a month um and then a, a old family friend was like why don't you start your own business and i'm like he's like you really should do that and i'm thinking to myself start my own business you know no way i'm not i'm not doing that you know so um, and then i but then i got to think about it. i was like well what can i do you know and then you know i was you know i would say god put it on my heart it was like you can do a lot of things and he kind of started showing me all the things that i had done over my life and i was like well i can do so i can do something so i started i started my company I started more in lawn care I, I did lawn care and i was you know i was very busy prospering in that and then and i was doing handyman service and handyman work and from plumbing and electrical and everything else and then uh, i was just i was just it, everything you know things came natural to me i, I went to a couple clients house who were like their air conditioning unit was down and i'd done so much work for them they was like hey can you take a look at my air conditioning unit and i was like uh sure you know so I, I never forget going out there looking at that air conditioning unit and it just it it wasn't working and i had no clue i was like i don't know what to do with this thing i, I didn't know anything about air conditioning at all except turning it on so the fan wasn't working and i'm i'm like trying to push it and look at the different things i was like you got to call somebody that works on air conditioning i have i you know i don't know i don't know what's wrong with it so after the third customer asked me about air conditioning i was like okay i gotta get into this air conditioning thing because I, I this is something i don't know anything about so i went back to school i went back to school um for heat and air and and with the intentions of adding it just to my business and just doing residential i hadn't even thought about commercial and then a commercial company uh by the name of and i'll say their name by the name of brady train you know um they came in and and they uh came to the school and they were like you know recruiting and they was looking for people and you know just telling them about the company and i was like well i never thought about i never thought about commercial well what is that about so you know and, and, and it was something that i really it wasn't a part of my plan but i, I went on and applied anyway and and i got hired on as an intern and, and uh and I had no clue where that was going to go, but I found that I enjoyed it. And I, I after completing an internship for a year, and and I, uh, they offered me a full-time position, and I started off as a tech assistant, and and then worked my way on up, you know, to a technician. And so um, anyway, so now I have my business, and you know, I do both. I do a little bit of everything on services, which consists of your regular handyman stuff, and uh, electrical plumbing i mean you name it you know i do it some things i don't have time to do because i'm so busy but i have a friend of mine that i refer a lot of work to uh, because he does everything else that i do except for uh, heat and air he doesn't do heat and air but he can build a house from the ground up so i you know i send a lot of work to him that i just don't have time to do so um fast forward today i mean I, I i'm working like i said i have my business and i do commercial and you know and we'll just see how that goes but the overall purpose i kind of wanted to you know get you to see you know my life a little bit about the guy that you're watching on these videos and and uh, my journey you know into you know uh, becoming an entrepreneur owning my own business you know yet and still you know working with someone too i could very well leave today uh, i was doing well on with my business prior to working for the, the air conditioning company that I worked for, I was doing well and, and um, I had to cut back on some of my stuff to do to do that full time. So now I'm kind of doing both full time. But overall, uh, I mean, I, I can't complain at all. Um, so I, like I said, I could leave, I could leave today and uh, 
I and be just as busy on my own, you know, so back like I was. So uh, eventually I, I, I may have to leave one day because, you know, the, the goal is you always want to work for yourself if you can. Uh, so uh, and that's that's where creating your own schedule. So anyway, family, uh, I just wanted to kind of give you a little clip, little glimpse of who I am uh, and what I do, and um, just that's that's really it. Uh, not to go on and on, but uh, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check out the videos, uh, and there are many more videos to come. Uh, I still I have plenty of other videos that I need to get on here. So, but any, always remember if you have a question or comment, don't you know? Feel free to to leave a comment. Feel free to ask questions. And um, these songs don't look too bad, uh, but nonetheless, I'm gonna check them out. Anyway, so um, thank you, family, for taking a moment to, to tune in, and I want to thank you again and again and again. Be blessed, and I'll talk to you soon.